Hello YouTube. This is Cyan Civilian. And in this video of our civil engineering channel we've got Sophistic, a short beginner's tutorial on how to design reinforcement in a concrete slab, more specifically, a slab made out of C2530 concrete. Engineers like to say that Sophistic is the Mercedes among the structural analysis software. Some also tend to say the Lexus among this kind of software. That is because Sophistic is a powerful structural analysis software which enables us to make complex models of any shape and to get the results we need. But there is a catch, it uses the concept of LaTeX, which means you program your own models. You can start working in Sophistic in the Teddy application, which is kind of like Notepad is in MS's Windows OS, or like Visual Basic in MS's Office Excel or just as we mentioned, LaTeX. And when you are done with programming you just execute the program. Sophistic also gives us a chance to visualize the model we program just like the results we ordered to be calculated. Anyway, we'll see more about that later. To begin with, let's see the slab we are going to calculate the reinforcement for. It's 26 meters long and 18 meters wide. It's split in 11 squares so that we can coordinate our calculation. It's colored like a chess field, because that's how the load combinations work. It needs to be said that the dollar sign can be used to make a comment and the software will not consider it like a command. To begin typing, first we have to select the file type, in our case the Sophistic file. At the beginning, let's set up the first chapter, Materials. You can do that, with clicking on the icon located on the bar above, which has joined together an exclamation mark, a hash and again another exclamation mark. Next you define what this chapter is about. In our case we started with the defining of the materials this slab is made of. Just as we mentioned at the beginning, it's a concrete slab, reinforced with steel S500. After that follows the next chapter, Construction. Here you can define the geometry of the element. With the command plus prog, aqua you can define the section of the element and the materials, with the command Sophie MSH, C, we define the coordinate system of the construction, three-dimensional or two-dimensional. You can define the coordinates of the nodes under the command SPT, which is short for structural point. Then after defining the nodes coordinates, under the SLN command you can connect them. SLN is short for structural line. Control stands for control of analysis. NO is the number of the points. NPA is abbreviated for point at start of line. NP are the points at the end. FIX stands for boundary conditions along the line. Going on further, SAR is another abbreviation and it stands for structural area. This means that you have to define which lines should it connect to make an area. GRP or group number of elements in area, MNO means material number of quads in area. NZ is the vector defining the upward direction of the area. QREF is reference for elements, CENT is just short for centered. While MCTL means meshing control. And with H1 we define the mesh density.
In the next chapter we define the loads. So, act is action and there are gam u and gam f, then we have psi 0, psi 1, psi 2 and so on. Gam mu presents the unfavorable partial safety factor whilst gam f is the favorable partial safety factor. Psi is a reductible safety factor. As from the Euro code 0. You can define as many load cases as you want or you need. Next chapter, Calculation. LC stands for load cases. Here you can calculate the maximum or minimum bending moments on a support, on a given field or any kind of reaction you need. Next is the chapter for calculation of the reinforcement, or the reinforcement design chapter. With HA we have defined the center distance of the upper main reinforcement from the upper plate edge. With DHA we have defined the center distance of the upper transverse or middle reinforcement from the main reinforcement. HB is for the center distance of the lower main reinforcement from the lower plate edge. DHB is for the center distance of the lower transverse or middle reinforcement from the main reinforcement. All these distances are measured in millimeters. DIRE is short for definition of orthogonal to course reinforcement. Para is short for design parameter. Nog is group number, and DU is reinforcement diameter upper first layer. Again measured in millimeters and by default is 10 millimeters. The last chapter is again the reinforcement design chapter, but this time calculated with the ultimate limit state. The final step is the execution. On the left hand side of the monitor there is the execute immediately command. Then a calculating window opens up and reads the whole program. When the program has been executed correctly and there were no mistakes found, you can open the visualization window, by clicking on the system visualization, marked with a butterfly icon, again on the left side of the monitor, where the results are displayed.
The final results are the reactions diagrams and the upper and lower reinforcement diagrams which can be extracted with making a couple of sections on the bending moment diagrams. We hope this short tutorial was from any kind of help. So thanks for watching and, if you like this video please share, subscribe, like, or give us suggestions in the comments below. That's all folks.